today is bug day. We read a story about bugs, we made a bug out of shapes on our paper, and now we're going to get to go and find some bugs outside. But when you go to find bugs, you need to put them in something to keep them safe. So we're going to be making bug jars today. And I have some things over here that I collected around my house. A couple of days ago was Earth Day, and you drew a picture of ways that you could help protect our Earth. And some of the ways was to recycle things or to reuse them as something else. This was a water bottle that I was drinking, but I'm going to use it to make a bug jar. So you could use a water bottle. If you have a water bottle in your house, you could recycle it into a bug jar today. I also had this big thing in my kitchen. We finished drinking all the juice and I could have thrown it away, but I thought this would be perfect to collect all of my bigger bugs in. So this is gonna be a bug jar today too. Another thing I found that I could recycle was this bottle. It's glass, can you hear it? And I was making spaghetti, but I decided to save my jar. We're going to be turning these things into bug jars today. The first thing you're going to need is your mom and dad. They need to help us make some holes inside of our bottles. Bugs, they are living things just like you and just like me. And in order for a living thing to stay alive, it needs air. Can you guys take a nice big breath in? Take a big breath in. And blow it out. That is air. And if we have lids on these containers, our bugs won't have enough air to breathe. So you're going to need mom and dad to help you make some holes. You guys can use I made three holes in the top of my jar. In my bottle, I made some little, some little slits, some little cuts so that the air can get in. That one's a little bit big, so I'm, I'm probably going to put some tape on this one so that my bugs don't escape. When mom and dad have made all the holes in your bottles, now it's your turn to decorate your bug jar. Inside of your school supply bag is a little bag of stickers, and there's some little bug stickers in there. So I want you to use your bug stickers to decorate your jar. So you can glue them on however you want. You can also use some markers to color on your bottle or your jar, or paint if you have some paint at home. Now that your jars are done being decorated, you are ready to go and find some bugs. So take your bug jar outside and see what you can find. Bugs need to be kept safe when we have our bug jars. So you need to make sure that you put some things inside of your jar that they would like. You can put some leaves, some grass, sticks, anything you find in your yard you can put inside. Flowers, things for your bugs to climb on and play on while they're inside of the jar. Sometimes it's hard for us to see what bugs do when they're outside. So bug jars are gonna help us to look at and explore bugs up close and we can move them around with us. But we need to keep our bugs safe. When we put bugs inside of our bug jar, it's not okay to shake up your bugs in the jar. We don't want to hurt our bugs. We also don't want them to get hurt by the sun. So we need to make sure that they are put away in the shade when we're done with them or let your bugs go at the end of the day. So that way they can go back and eat everything that they need to eat and they can stay alive. If you keep them trapped in your bug jar too long, then they might not survive. So we wanna keep our bugs nice and safe. 